Well, hey, good afternoon. This is a short video to explain the simple way to assemble a gorilla reel. So uh, hopefully you can follow it through. The, the two diamond plate round pieces are the same. So start with one of the diamond plate up and pick the hub that does not have, one hub has a handle and one doesn't. Pick the hub without a handle and insert the three stainless steel rods through the holes. I've already inserted two. There's the third stainless steel rod. So now you're left with the three rods hanging down. All right, now that you've got the plate assembled with the single hub, you want to put it onto the plastic mandrel. You notice there's a hole in the mandrel. That needs to be down away from you. Put it closer to the table when you put these rods in. So drop the rods in. Now you've got the rods sticking through the bottom here. Then we take the other plate, the other diamond plate, and turn the diamond side down and rest it on something, like a five gallon bucket is fine, rest it on something so that you, get, you can then go ahead and put the rods through the holes. And if you're real lucky, they'll go through pretty easily, like this. Now you've got the rods pushed all the way through and you tape it carefully, lay it on its side, and then we put, then we put, well, let's put it on the side. Then we put the hub with the handle on while we try to keep everything from disappearing. We've got the hub with the handle on now. So go ahead and put the washers and nuts on for the rods. And we're ready to start tightening up the bolts, the rods. Okay, so with a 7 16 inch wrench at one end and a socket is best at the other, go ahead and start tightening. If the idea is you want an equal amount of threaded rod sticking out at each end. If you end up with a whole bunch of rod at one end, like I'm starting to get now, all you gotta do is grab that rod with a pair of vice grips or a pair of pliers and hold onto the rod while you tighten the nut at the other end. So you end up with the rod equally spaced between the two. So in this case, I've got a little too much rod sticking out here, so I, I want to hold on to the rod and tighten at the other end until it's tight. And if necessary, you can always move that nut back down. But if you just hold on to the rod at one end, then you can get the whole thing tight and try to get the amount of rod balanced from one end to the other. But the trick is, you don't want too much rod sticking out at one end. That's it in a nutshell. Basically, you just gotta get the rods through with more or less an equal amount of rod sticking out at each end. And then you're ready to put the assembly into the frame. This happens to be a big gorilla frame. If it was a little gorilla frame, it'd be the same. You just, uh, I've, shipped the, I've shipped the frame with the Delrin blocks in place. Just unscrew it and drop it in place. The only key here is there should be two uh, gray plastic spacers and you want to put those on each end before you assemble it so that as you see there's a spacer in here and the reason is that keeps the the rods from bumping into the end plate here the last thing we need to worry about is putting the handle on the handle comes off of it you basically are using these two nuts to double nut it tightly in place so that this nut is tightened up against this nut and the handle will still spin but the bolt isn't loose. Go ahead and put the rubber grommet in and then the last element is the swivel assembly. So the swivel assembly, you'll stick your hose in this end, poke it out here, and attach it to the swivel. Then you, by pulling the hose back out, you'll push this back in until it's in place. 
and then with this rubber bushing on top screw the bottom piece in nice and tight you want to you want to be sure and use some uh, thread hucky puck is what I call it on these threads it's a, like a plumber's type putty on these threads works better really than the Teflon tape and then this 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 piece should be glued in with PVC glue and you're ready to go one last thing that we want to do to make this work better when your hose comes out, I'm just using this piece of hose as an example. If, if, if your hose comes out and you bend it too sharply, it's going to kink here. So what we tend to do, once you get it, go ahead and as you see on this reel, there's a hole right here. Go ahead and, and bend your hose so it's got a nice gentle curve. Drill a hole in the side and just put a, hose, a uh, wire tie on it so that it can't kink too greatly here and, and bend your hose. Then once you do, once you start to roll your hose up, it can go, the hose can then go ahead and wrap around the reel just fine, but you want it to try to come all the way out to the outer edge and be held in place with a, a uh, wire tie at this point. 